Thank you, Mr. Asher. Thank you. And soon after annexation, uh, the city council met with uh, uh, residents in the uh, Kingsgate area. Uh, and I s sort of said it then, and it was a, an audience that was exclusively uh, uh, made up of uh, those in the annexation area. I said, there's three criteria. Uh, first, you should feel welcomed to be citizens of Kirkland. Secondly, you should be listened to, you should feel that you've been, will be, and are being listened to respectfully. And third, you should feel that you're empowered, that your local government is responsive to what your needs are. That goes for anyone, uh, whether you're in the annexation area or whether uh, you're in uh, parts of Kirkland that have been here for over a hundred years. As long as you feel that you're being listened to respectfully and that you have the ability to be uh, impactful on your government, then that to me, you've met the basic success criteria. The key ways that we do that is through public discussions. This Friday night, or excuse me, this Wednesday evening, the City Council will be meeting with the uh, uh, Finn Hill uh, Neighborhood Association and we'll be opening it up to their, uh, uh, what topics they want to talk about. And it's a long list of topics, and it's, it's expected to be a long list of topics. It will take some time for us to understand, and as I, I said at the, I, I think it was the, the last forum, we need to learn how to dance. We need to learn how to communicate back and forth so that you can gather the information uh, of things that are new to you and then be able to inquire as to why are things that way and how do you, uh, how do you deal with this? So we need to learn how to dance. Uh, and I think that we're working on that even tonight. Thank you. And